Hi guys, well if you're new to the channel, uh, I've split from uh, Svetlana and having to find somewhere to live, I was looking for a sailboat project. I found this 1988 Benetel First 305 that had been abandoned. It's in a bit of a sorry state, the headline is missing just about everywhere. Uh, the bilges were full of water and uh, the engine was in bits. So I've given myself six weeks to get it back up and running and uh, seaworthy. So join me on the journey, and if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. What can I say? Nothing more satisfying than when you pull the tape off and you've got this beautiful waterline in the anti-foul. So final bits to do. The black line is going to go blue. And there's going to be a gold pinstripe just about here. You can just see the line there. And that will just finish it off. But uh, once that black line goes blue, we have a gorgeous looking boat, I think. Not bad. Yes, there's a couple of scuffs. But... She's a 1988 boat, so you'd expect it. So, Driscoss has got to come off the bow and be replaced, which is pretty much ready to go back in the water. Morning, guys. Oh, I'm panicking now. Uh, we launch tomorrow, and I have got a shitload still to do. So I'm just masking up this bootstrap. I've got to do this next. Um, so, yeah. Main sail is sort of on. The anchor is sort of on. The anchor's too big for the boat. So. So the main sail is sort of on. goes up, the buttons are in, it's just not really very neat and flat for the moment, I'm not used to it so I'll give it a go. Uh, the pin strap is going to have to wait because as I say we're back in the water tomorrow. I'm not overly fond of what I've done with that. I've got to paint this next. And then hopefully, once I've done that, we should be good. All those uh, hole fittings, all the skin fittings are checked, so they're all tight. Uh, not sure what else I can do on the outside, I think that's it. So, uh, just final check on the engine. And then... Today's the day, so... Hello. Down. Mind, it's okay. <laughs> so, today's Saturday and uh, we were supposed to launch next Wednesday, but they've got a slot for us. So, and I think, I think we're just about ready. So, yeah. Just painting a couple of. Uh, anti foul patches where we have the supports, so then we're, we're good to go. Good to go. I've been getting a lot of teasing about these stripes because they're not straight, so I think I might actually take it off, but uh, we'll see. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it's alright now. Sorry for waiting so long. Eh? Oh, no worries, no worries. It's, it's all good. So I'll go start checking seacocks. Okay. Yeah, one second. So, I have water in here, but I can't tell where it's coming from. Okay, so we've made it where I anchor. And I'm just going to let it sit now, just keep an eye on the bilge and the engine compartment, just to make sure that we are absolutely spot on. So, so yeah, so I can work on that. That's good, that's high enough out of the water. Apologies for that. But all good. All good. This, this water situation. Right from there, yeah, it's good. So now we're in the water, it's time to start dealing with any leaks that we find. It's not too bad actually. So this one was just dripping, and I've timed it. That seems to have cured it, so I'm just going to keep on on that. These two in here actually have gone dry. 
So that's good. So there's been no leakage from there at all. This one in here. There's no Jubilee clips on the pipe yet. But as you can see, it's bone dry. So that's good. So we'll go and get some Jubilee clips in a second. Get that sorted, but there's no drips or leaks there. So that's that one. And that leaves the engine room. So this is the problem, child. Which is why I've got a fan running in here because I'm going to be spending some time in here. However, we have got a little bit of water in the bottom, and it's not actually the seacock that's leaking, and it's not the stone gland that's leaking, it is this here. I don't know whether you can see this, but it's this old reed that is. Is that dripping? So, this is the raw water feed comes in here, through here, and out here, and into the engine, and it's dripping just here. So I've got to get that sorted, uh, but it seems to be the only leak, which I'm quite pleased at really. So uh, it's manageable. So I'm going to make a few phone calls to see if I can get some more wings. Well, it's a great feeling being back in the water. And we've got no leaks apart from one, which is an O-ring. So I need to go and get one. But like an idiot, I haven't brought the dinghy. So I'm going to have to swim back to the yard, which is just up there, to go and get it. Uh, thankfully, it's a nice day. So, yeah, I'm going swimming. <laughs>